Welcome to Totally Integrated Instrumentation. Today, it's a very exciting day. We've taken delivery of our new LR100 uh, non-contact radar device from Siemens, Canada. So we're gonna have a look what we get in the box. So excited, it's like Christmas. So let's have a look inside. So the first thing we get, some instructions, don't need those, throw those away. Something about a Bluetooth code. We best keep that safe. We'll have a little play with the Bluetooth. A little pencil case. Don't know what that's for. We'll have a look what's in that in a minute. And then there you have it. The radar itself. Let's have a look inside here. So this is a demo unit. I don't know what the packaging is going to look like on the final production version. Um, oh, this is duty. Thanks Canada. A little power supply that plugs into your USB port on your PC. So here we have it. My uh, Citrans L pencil case. Let's see what my Canadian colleagues have put in here for me to make my uh, demo a bit more enjoyable. Oh look at that. That's, uh, that's great. Got a baby bell cheese. That will help. Oh look at this. Should come free with every demo unit that you buy. Hobgoblin beer. Don't need that anymore. Thank you very much, Canada. So, we've opened the box and we've finally unveiled the new uh, 80 gigahertz radar, the LR100. As you can see, this device has no display, so there's no programming interface for it. So we're gonna have a look over the next few videos, first of all, at the Citrans Mobile IQ app, which is the Bluetooth app for configuring the radar. We're then going to connect the radar to the ET200SP IO that we have here in my demo panel and use PDM over heart to configure that device. We're then going to use PDM maintenance station standalone to extract that data on a timed basis and send it to the SAM IQ app that you can see here behind us on the panel. Once we've done that, the third video, we're going to connect it to some new hardware that enables the heart to be split out from an instrument and sent to um, other applications using OPCUA or you can send it to the cloud. And all of this is using the Namor open architecture. So please keep tuned in for these free videos. I've hoped you found this one enjoyable and see you soon.